Hi, my name is Sun Warren, and I am here in the Artist Network studio to film a series of watercolor videos. I would like to share a tip on how to create a loose background for your favorite subjects. Here, I have a cat painting that uh, I use the background, and actually I developed this technique because I didn't want to paint her cat's hair and I just want to uh, find out, I just want to create something that cats kind of detail, uh, just kind of uh, move back out to a uh, background without using my brush. And I start doing this one uh, in the beginning and I thought it was kind of working out pretty good. So here I have a, a background, you see it? But uh, I'm not going to do the cat, but I'm just going to show you how, cre uh, how to create this kind of loose background. That one I haven't touched with any brush, just by a spray bottle and then pouring color in it. So here I have, you can use any different color you want, but here I'm using three primary colors. I actually using uh, permanent yellow dip and uh, this one is permanent rose. And this is cerulean blue, but a different company. One of them is Mission Gold, and one of them is uh, uh, Winsor & Newton. And Winsor & Newton has a lot more opaque than uh, Mission Gold. So I mixed and I prepare here. So here, now I use spray bottle. And this spray bottle is actually, you don't want to have a fine mist. You want to have something, this beads coming out. So you want to have spray bottle has a little, uh, control over with a little more bead or mist. Okay, so I'm going to spray on the paper and there the center where you want it to uh, more color over it. That's where the, you want it to have a dance. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove some of the excess water. Now, I didn't have that much over, so. And sometime actually I can drip some of them off. And I think I can start with yellow. And if you see it, where the water is, your pigment will follow. But where there's no water, that, that pigment is, is not going to go move in. So that's how I use my background. So here, and now you need to start tilting it to where how you, you want it to, uh, color to move over. And I'm not touching anything, but at this point, this area, I wanted to make this one a little more solid, and uh, some of them, it does, I don't have many of our uh, colors, so I'm going to use a little more water. And actually, I can actually create different rock direction with the spraying the spray bottle. And this one, you can use different color or different um, subject matter, and I think if you don't like to paint something background and you don't want to have a flat or so stark light or just using brush and just kind of a little bit interesting, and I have this, sometimes I can just kind of go. And this one I don't like too geometric, I wanted to brush it off. You can go this one a little more aggressively. And you can create this one with a uh, face or sometime animal, dog, or flower, I think. You can see color mixes, like how you want it to mix it. And I can actually twist it, this one back too. And sometime this way, and sometime this way. And you can see some of those different. And if you wanted to have a little more color, you can actually add more to strengthen, strengthen your color. And your back, you don't have to worry about background after this. You can just utilize this one to create one of those subject matter that you like to do. So. And just after you did this one, you just let it completely dry before you draw on it or you're painting on it. And you are going to save everything what you have for your painting on this background. I think that's it. I think it's, 
this one is just kind of uh, spread out. And every time you do it, it's different color will come out and you can find subject matter that you can actually incorporate into this kind of painting. So um, I hope you enjoy this one and thank you for joining me. Hope you will try this technique in your own paintings. Thank you.